So we have been thinking about Oshkosh, but with Buckeye only two hours away, we knew we couldn't miss our chance at our first fly-in. So we have procedures to follow, and coming from the west, it was straight to back at VOR and direct. And are coming behind us, or like, what's happening here? Uh, no. But with all the traffic diverging to one area, it's very important to keep an eye out. I have caught that on the tail camp, FYI. <laughs> I think he was close. He was really close. We definitely caught him on the tail cam. We were also given a short approach, but somehow I confused that with a power off 180. It was still a lot of fun though. I used to do these all the time with my friend and former CFI for my PPL just then. We had a lot of fun doing these. And finally made it, and we're really excited because this really was our first fly-in ever. Traffic on the left, the yellow aircraft on the uh, right down one, what's your call sign? But not only that, it was our number 57 airport, which is so awesome. We actually didn't know what parking was going to be like. We didn't know if we were supposed to bring stakes, or they were going to provide cables for tie-downs. But it was okay, because we finally made it. The funny thing about an air show is not only are you there for the air show itself, but to see what everybody else is flying. Actually, on the way to Buckeye, we had a Saratoga, Cirrus, and a Bonanza all going the same direction. So much so that ATC had to ask, where are we all going? As you can see, there were cables provided, but not through the entire parking area. So beware when you come, sometimes you might need stakes. We opted for the stakes, so we were all set. But it was really cool. And these are the campgrounds actually, and we wanted to know what those were like, just in case we wanted to try maybe next year to camp there. This is the VIP section for AOPA members. And I have to say, all the AOPA volunteers were just amazing. They were so friendly. I think the first half hour we were there, we spent just talking with one of the volunteer linemen about his experience and why he does it every year. This was on a Friday, so it wasn't too busy. Saturdays is definitely the busiest day. We were apparently very lucky this year. Last year apparently it was windy, warm, and this year it was 72 degrees. It was calm winds. It couldn't have been more perfect. And for the attraction area, they had all the food vendors, but it's all about the air show. And it was amazing. They had the T6 Texans, but AOPA members actually got a huge surprise that no one expected. 
which was the F-35s. And that was Friday night, and they only showed up Friday night. So that was awesome. Now one of the things that I don't want to ruin too much is they had this night show and it was pretty crazy. But I won't spoil it because Saturday night with the fireworks was just on another level. So Lindsay Johnson is actually the pilot for this A-10 Warthog and she was actually in our hotel. Unfortunately we didn't get to talk to her because we were already in the shuttle but we really missed out on this selfie. But as our neighbor's leaving, it was time for us to go too, and this was Sunday. We were trying to get out before the air show started at 1.30, which is when they closed the airport again. Procedure out was easy. It's just left crosswind departure for us. We went from Friday to Sunday, and really, our experience was that we're definitely going to be back next year. We finally did our first fly-in air show, and it wasn't too bad. Again, we're, we're baby steps until we work up to Oshkosh. But again, the weather today was perfect. Calm winds, 70 degrees. As I said, this is our first fly-in, and now we're definitely addicted and it won't be our last. Thanks Buckeye, we'll see you next year.